defense. You know what I'm saying? And she got to follow your your framework and you a doofus. Not you, not you. But you know what I mean? So, I, I, mm-hmm. I, I look and, at it and, like... And, 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 and what happens is if I get fired, that's fine. I'm going to find another team and I'm going to get another quarterback and another <laughs> offense that I'm going to run with my friends hey, look. and my damn plays. <laughs> what, and hey, look. if we win a yeah, championship cool. with my what are we and my right team, now? I'm a, then boom. Was I'm going to have to push back. Him. I'm gonna have to push back against what Shannon said. I get that women are saying what they want, but they capping and they lying. He's talking about being the offensive coordinator. He's talking about providing the framework. This is my offense within the with, within the framework of my offense. You have some autonomy in these ways. It's like I'm the CEO. You can be the CF, CFO, but it has to fit within the framework of what I have going on. You feel me? I'm gonna say this, it's Sean, Sean. It's it's play your position. Play your position. If I'm the head coach. You're not gonna be the CFO, CEO, or you're gonna be the quarterback. Okay, you're gonna be the quarterback. If I call a running play over the headset, you are gonna run the damn ball. If I call a throwing play, you are gonna throw the damn ball. But but be some what plays, but there's some the play in the huddle is a on, touchdown. Hold on, hold on, let him finish. Let him finish. Wait, 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 wait. I got you. I got you on that, Shan. But there are some plays towards a run pass option. If it's there, take it. If it ain't there, throw it. So you, so you get a lot of autonomy there. You get a little bit of autonomy. But I need you to run the play that is called or else you're not good for my team. And that way you get traded if you're not good for my team. Well, that's why I said coaching, because you have that option. Pioneer, you got to just do what I say. No questions asked. Be Madden. And the problem with what you said, be Madden, is, is coaches get fired every year. And so you may be a fucking yeah. doofus. You may that's be a true. Doofus. Owner or it happens, you know what I'm saying? It and happens. she gotta follow your your framework, and you a doofus, not you, not you. But you know what I mean? So I I, mm-hmm. I, I look and, at it like. And, 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 and what happens is if I get fired, that's fine. I'm gonna find another team, and I'm gonna get another quarterback and another <laughs> offense that I'm going to run with my friends hey, look. and my damn plays. <laughs> what? And hey, look. If we win a yeah, championship cool. with my what are we and my right team, now? I'm a, then boom, was I'm gonna have to push back. Him. I'm gonna have to push back against what Shannon said. I get that women are saying what they want, but they capping and they lying. Because if that was the case, a lot of them would be able to go up because because to, to follow somebody is a choice. They only want to follow a man in the direction that they think they should be going in. So that's what they want. They feel like I want to go in this direction, and I'm only gonna be willing to follow a man if he's going in that direction. Because if they was willing to follow a man, they they had plenty of opportunities to follow a man. They've had plenty of them, and all of them turn right. The man was trying to turn left. They grab the steering wheel and turn right, and then their whole relationship blows up in their face. They say they want all of this, but what are they lifestyle? What is their actions telling you? And most of the time, it's they want to do their own thing regardless. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard fault to get these women to do what they – because they want what they want, and they've, and they've had 30 years to get what they want. They're going to move how they're going to move. They they say a lot of stuff that sound good on these panels when you ask them questions. I can't I can't hear you, Shannon. Go ahead, bro. Oh, no, I was saying when Sir Hill wipes his face over and over like that, he's bothered. So I know he want to cook us right now. Real quick, I, I'm going to throw it to Sir Hill, but Sweeney, and I, I hear what you're saying and what women want. And that's why women right now, today's women are conflicted between nature and nurture. See, what they want internally was built into them is what I'm talking about. But what we're seeing is what you're talking about. And so now women are just don't know what the fuck to do because they're told by every corner, every facet of society that they can do this and they get the boss and all it. And then they don't need no man, all the extra stuff. And they and then shit falls apart in their life. And but so you know, go ahead. I hear what ahead. you're saying, brother. No, I'm no, I was about to say, I was about to say something funny though. Saying. I don't know. I don't have an. I don't have the answers to that. I don't have the well, answers to answer. why women are fighting what's naturally for them versus what there's what's normal for them, which is what nurturing is, which is what's taught and what's conditioned for. Women are being conditioned to be something that they're naturally not. Go ahead, Sir Hill. I was gonna. Oh, oh, I was mad. gonna say, uh, Shannon, you want to know how you fix that? By man at large, let them, let them have it. Go ahead and be free. And I'm going to be free, too. And you're going to find out how bad it is on the other side of that train. Let them do it. And then and then you go like, man, how, you know, our grandfathers used to work themselves into an early grave trying to do that shit. They was yeah. working 70, 80 hours a week. Man, you get to what? You get to go golfing now, play football, 
play a little Madden, go to go go to the cigar lounge, have a drink after work. Now you got a little kick more free. back. You get the kick back. back. Now let them have it. Go be go go be free. Cause you they gonna find out faster about what life looks like before we do. You just made our lives easier. I'll take it. I just so what what, we, what you guys are saying it sounds good like for 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 guy talk in real life that doesn't work and I don't think you would want a woman that you would have to spend your time this is the car we're going to buy this is the house we're going to live in we're going to move here this I think framework I 100% agree with that but the whole purpose of a wife is for her to accentuate your life to give you new ideas to make you think about things in a better way it's her job to take off pressures off of you. So if you're with a woman and you have to make more decisions because you have to think for two people now and she can't think for herself, you have to make all the decisions for her. I, I guarantee you it'll be sexy for a little bit. And after a while, you won't want her anymore because it's very difficult to sustain a level of respect for a woman who is your wife that you have to treat like a daughter. And it's the same thing for women as well. So I think why, while the woman was talking about women not parenting their man. I think it's true. Men, we we can't get in the mindset that you are raising your woman. Now, you may have to help her develop in certain areas. You may have to coach her in certain areas. But if you move into the mindset where you're parenting her, it, it's only a matter of time before you find a woman who you don't have to put all that work in, who you don't have to raise, and you're going to go cheat with her because she offers you peace from the struggle of trying to raise a woman that you marry. So I say this, you don't want to parent a woman. You need to lead her. And that's very different than parenting. I think, and, and that's the point I wanted to make. Uh, like, that, like when y'all say run this house, I don't run this house, she run this house, but I run her. You see what I'm saying? This is her domain. She's going to move in the best interest of us, right? But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, right? Ace Boom Coon. Right. You want to have a woman that's capable. You want to have a woman that's capable. That's the, Definitely. The, what y'all said earlier. Smart, Definitely. intelligent, able to talk in the room. Blah, blah, right. You want that. Right. You don't want to have to babysit your wife. Right. You want her to be able to make those decisions that you would recommend without you, because that's like what what Hink said. You coach her up. You let her know, hey, this is what you like. This is what we need. This is what we're not looking for. But I think the biggest misconception is that. Or I ain't going to say it's a misconception. How What I wanted to address is the, the daddy aspect, right? Most women, they they want a man like their father, but they don't want, they want the qualities he has, but they want to be led in the way they want to be led, right? They want you to apply the qualities that their mm -hmm. father had, but the way they want you to do it, right? And every woman, every woman know, even though they won't say it with their mouth, they won't say it out loud. They won't say it in a conversation with you. Right. But every woman know a real man don't move when a woman wants them to move. They know that even if I'm doing something for you, I'm going to get to it when I get to it. Right. Because at the end of the day, we didn't say it before. We didn't say it again. We'll say it twice tonight, Shannon. If it all go wrong, if it falls apart. She ain't gonna say, you know what? I made a bad decision. They're gonna blame you. Never. He ain't never gonna say that. Well, look, I, I said it one time when we had a, a conversation before where JR asked a question about uh, our play video about we want us to woman tell us everything. And I told y'all then, no, she shouldn't have to call me for every goddamn thing because I don't want you to get on my goddamn nerves. So again, that's why I coach you up. So you can move and do things on your own that I taught you and that I that, that I've showed you how to do. I need for you to be able to do that. And if you can't do that, if you can't function on your own, that's a problem. You're a dumbass. And I don't want to deal with a dumbass woman. And Hank, Hank, I, I, I think in, <laughs> we can, I can clean this up a little bit. Um, with the analogy I was using with football and everything, I mean, she doesn't have to be a rookie quarterback that don't know nothing. You got to install the entire system and all that kind of stuff. She can be like a Patrick Mahomes. She can be somebody that's competent, someone that can make decisions and whatnot as well, but you make the ultimate decision. She's making decisions inside the offense, who gets the ball, that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, these, these goals need to be accomplished. 
and you're right there with her the entire state. And, and you're also you're also taking feedback too. So if she's seeing some things in the offense and in the defense that you can't see from the sideline, you can't see from the booth upstairs. Call it audible. You have to right. They call it audible. They see some I didn't see. Okay, I understand that. But we're but we're on the same team at the end of the day. And I'm also always going to take feedback. No yeah, Willie Beeman. Everybody, everybody no has Willie a household Beeman. credit card. But that's all y'all have. A, everybody that's here. A, that's what you call a good coach to do that. And most parents yeah. ain't gonna take yeah. the feedback yeah. from the kids. So you parent and your 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 grown ass woman, you ain't gonna really want to take a feedback because you you feel like you're the parent. What you say goes. Shut up and sit down. 